Um, these are some instructions on a couple of ways you can download your course content from the PLTW Canvas LMS site. Um, this is the website up here that you have to go to. Uh, instructure.com slash login slash canvas. It's in the FAQ, the frequently asked questions, uh, that email that PLTW sent out. Um, that's actually pretty useful. There's a bunch of information in there. Uh, so once you go to there, you log in your regular way. You may have to change your password. I don't know. I had to do it once. But once I log in, then I'm back at the old classic, our favorite LMS canvas. And I'm going to show you two ways to download your content. I'm going to do um, I'm going to do digital electronics because it's a shorter course, so it's a little easier to download, a little quicker. So uh, once I go there, I scroll down and I click on settings. And then there, this is one way to export the entire course to use in another Canvas LMS situation. I click export course and I check course. You can also export your quizzes if you have a bunch of quizzes. I click this and when I do that it will create an export and this will take a bit and it'll actually even email you when it's all done. But when you get it all done um, it'll show up up here and if I click on this you can see what it looks like. It is an IMSCC file which I'm not real sure what that is. But basically, it's an entire the entire course is kind of like zipped up in a uh, specifically for Canvas. So it'll do that, and you can save that, like I said, an IMSCC file. The other way to do this is if I go to Files, and I just click on this to make sure I've got all of them. So this is the whole curriculum here for digital electronics. So I hold down the Control key and I click in the white space next to each one of these things to highlight them all. And I was having problems with this earlier. Okay, and then you'll see up here it says there's a download button. And if I click download it zips all of that together and you can see it's preparing download and it will zip that all together into one big zipped file. Now that is everything and that is easily accessed because that is for example I did, here's my IED one and I just called it IED export but it's a, a regular zip file and in it you have all of all of the PowerPoints, all the Word documents, and, um, everything that you've done in there, even if you've anything you've changed, uh, th this is what you did on the LMS. So if you added stuff, it's in there also. So this is where you now have the entire course on your desktop and you can bring it into Google, Google Classroom, you could put it into Schoology or any of those other ones. Um, so this is, I would recommend everybody do this for every one of the courses no matter what because that way you just have it as easy access so it's the easiest way to do it now if you have um, if you have a uh, school canvas account so this is my school website and I can uh, I can create a course I can start a new course call it DE, create the course, and I would then be able to um, import, oh, if I go to settings, I can go to import course content, and I can, it is the copy of Canvas course, I believe. Oh no, it's not a copy. It is one of these guys. It is the that one. I'm not sure. I don't think that's it. But uh, it's one of those. And you pick the right one that, that it is. Uh, might be that one. But, um, oh, that's it. The course export package. That's what you're looking for. And you do that one. And you could then... Um, 
like this one that would be I'm gonna that would be my ID into there and then it would import the entire course in there the problem with doing that if you don't have canvas is that there is a free canvas but free canvas only allows you 250 megabytes where these are much bigger you can see that uh, that's the that one is real big so uh, that's not going to work so I'm not sure I'm going to do another video on how to bring courses stuff into the free LMS so but if you want to bring the entire course in there uh, somebody else is going to have to explain how to um, how to do that or how to get a larger one or PLTW is going to have to so I just wanted to show the two ways of downloading your content this is the IMSCC if you're going to use canvas again and the zip file everybody should do because then you'll have all your word and all your PowerPoint files and that will do that.